task. Hi, my name is Joanna. Welcome to the Vinyasa Flow, Healthy Shoulders. Today, class, in today's class, we're going to focus on scapula stabilization, as that's the main stabilization of our shoulders. It's necessary to really understand the movement of our scapula when we are reaching over, when we are doing any pull-ups, when we are doing the push-ups, when we play sports such as racket sports or golf, the strength is really coming from our scapula. So today we are going to isolate that, isolate that movement and really understand what's happening with our scapula. You may, you may discover that you have some imbalances between your scapula. I know I discovered that. And it may help you with your future exercise to strengthen your shoulders going forward. So let's get started. And join me on the mat in a comfortable cross-legged position. Place your hands on your knees. We're going to begin with the breath of fire. It's a stimulating breath that acts as a warm-up for our nervous system. It helps to send our blood flow to our hands and our knees. And that helps us in our exercise. The breath focuses on sharp exhales using our abdominal muscles. And the inhales happen in between by themselves. The breath sounds a little bit like this. It sounds a little bit like a sneeze. We're going to do three rounds of 20 together. Close your eyes and if you want, you can place your left hand on your abdomen to feel your muscles, your abdominal muscles working. Inhale fully, exhale, inhale fully, exhale, inhale halfway, and exhale, 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 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax your shoulders. Relax your neck. Inhale halfway and exhale, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale halfway and exhale. Place your right hand on your chest and your left hand on your abdomen. May this practice heal and strengthen my body and my mind. May this practice heal and strengthen my body and my mind. Release your hands and open your eyes. Extend your arms in a T formation, palms facing the mat. And we're going to start with doing circles. We're going to start very small circles with moving our hands, hands forward. And increase those circles very slowly until they are as big as you can make them. If you can touch the mat, that's great. Just focus on just moving your shoulders. And change the direction. So we're going to go from big circles to the small circles in the other direction. This exercise really helps us warm up our shoulders and prepares us for all the other work we will be doing. And this time we're going to go back, starting from small circles, going large.
and switch the direction going from big circles to small circles going forward. And release. Push yourself to all fours. So you want your shoulders stacked over your wrists and your hips stacked over your knees. And here we're going to start moving just our shoulders. Just imagine the rest of your body is completely frozen and we're just, we only have our shoulders to work with. Bring your shoulder blades together and make as much space between your shoulder blades as you can. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades and exhale, make as much space in your shoulder blades as you can. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades and exhale, make as much space between your shoulder blades as it's possible without engaging any other muscles. And here we're going to start establishing our ocean breath for our practice. So we're going to move very slowly on the both inhale and exhale are happening on the count of four. And we're using our nose to make that sound. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one. And exhale, open up your shoulder blades. Three, two, one. Squeeze your shoulder blades. One, two, three, four. Open up your shoulder blades. Four, Three, two, one. This time we're going to switch it up. We're going to shrug and unshrug our shoulders. Just remember the rest of your body is completely frozen. You only have your shoulders to work with. So inhale, unshrug your shoulders. Exhale, shrug your shoulders. Inhale, unshrug your shoulders. Exhale, shrug your shoulders. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, one, two, three, four. And inhale, one, two, three, four. Come back to the neutral position and push yourself to the downward dog. And when you're ready, step your feet to the front of the mat and very slowly, vertebra at a time, come up to the standing position. Bring your feet together and turn your shoulders back and down so your palms are facing the front of the mat Inhale, your hands up over your head, prayer position, look up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back, exhale, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, open your chest up into up dog, exhale, roll on your toes into downward dog. And here we're going to take a breath, remember to roll your shoulders, out, so your armpits are trying to look towards each other. Your finger, fingers are spread and all knuckles are pressing firmly on the mat. Very good, Colleen, beautiful, Adriana. On the next inhale, look between your hands, bend your knees, and step to the front of the mat with the flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your hands to the side and up. Look up. Exhale, release. Mountain goes. 
Inhale, your hands to the side and up. Look up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, roll your shoulders back. Open your chest, knees covering over the mat. Exhale, send your hips up towards the ceiling, downward dog. And breathe here. Send those hips up towards the ceiling. Your shoulders are rota rotating out. Very good, James, Adriana, Colleen, beautiful job. On the next inhale, look between your hands, bend your knees and step to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your hands to the side and up. Prayer position, look up. Exhale, release, mountain pose. We're going to jump to Sun Salutation B. Send your hips back and down and lower your hands until they touch the mat. Push your pelvis to the front of the mat and bring your hands up. And just say, don't put it in a prayer position, just bring it straight in front of you because we want to focus on that scapula today. And exhale, bring your hands behind your back and squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, bring them in front of you. And exhale, bring them behind you. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you. And exhale, bring them behind you. Pay attention if your shoulders are moving in the same place. Sometimes one of our shoulders tends to move slower than the other. So that might indicate a weakness in one of the shoulders or maybe lower mobility in one of the shoulders. And move them back one more time and hold it back this time. Squeeze your shoulder blades a little bit closer. Inhale, bring them up. Put them in a prayer position. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward, hands up into warrior one. Exhale, hands on the mat, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, Downward dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward. Hands up into warrior one, look up. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Remember to roll, to roll the shoulders out and return back to that ocean breath that we practice. Very good. We want to keep our back straight all the way from the hips to the crown of our head. And our gaze is directed towards our knees here. Very good. Our hands, fingers are spread wide and we're creating arches and domes with our hands. Very good adjustment, Colleen. Beautiful, James. On the next inhale, look between your hands, bend your knees and step to flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Lower your hips back and down and bring your hands to the chair position. And exhale, rise up and release, chair pose, uh, mountain pose. Send your hips back and down until your fingertips are touching the mat. Bring your hands up again. We don't want the prayer position, we just want our hands in front of us. Tilt your pelvis forward. 
Exhale, bring your hands behind you. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you. Exhale, bring your hands behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades a little bit more. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you. Exhale, bring your hands behind you and squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, your hands in front of you and bring them in a prayer position. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Front knees at 90 degree, warrior one. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, set your left foot forward, hands up into warrior one. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Rotate your shoulders out. Keep your neck relaxed. Your hips are standing towards the ceiling. Very good. Everybody looks beautiful. On the next inhale, look between your hands, bend your knees, and step to flat back. Exhale, fall forward. Inhale, lower your hips, back and down, your hands up in a prayer position, chair pose, and exhale, rise up and release, mountain pose. One more time, send your hips back and down and lower yourself until your fingertips are touching the mat. Tilt your pelvis in and inhale, bring your hands in front of you. Exhale, shift your hands behind you and squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you. Exhale, send your hands back. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you. And exhale, send your hand back. Squeeze the shoulder blades just a little bit more. Inhale, bring your hands in front of you and put them in a prayer position. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back. Lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Hands up into warrior one. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, step your left foot forward, knee at 90 degree, hands up, warrior one. Exhale, hands on the mat, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Very good, remember to roll your shoulders out Imagine your armpits want to look at each other. Beautiful, Adriana. And breathe here, remember to return to that ocean breath. Sometimes when we're moving quickly through the poses, we lose our breath or we hold our breath. And that downward dog gives us the opportunity to return back to that ocean breath. On the next inhale, look between your hands, bend your knees, and step to flat back. Exhale, hold forward. Inhale, lower your hips back and down, hands up in a chair pose. Exhale, rise up and release, mountain pose. 
Step your feet about hip distance apart and place your hands on your waist. Exhale, fold forward and hook your peace fingers around your big toes. Inhale, flat back and exhale, fold forward. Bring your elbows to the side. Just come a little bit lower. Check the distribution of the weight in your feet. You want to have even distribution between the front and the back of our feet. So you may want to shift a little bit forward as we tend to push more towards the heels of our feet. And breathe. Remember that ocean breath that helps us in all of the poses. Inhale, flat back. And place your hands, palms up on the mat and step on them with your feet. You want your big toes in the crease of your wrists. And fold forward, wing your elbows to the side. Release your hands, place your hands on your waist, and inhale, come up to the standing position. Step your back, step your right foot about a meter distance, maybe a little bit shorter, and place your hands in a prayer position behind your back. One of the things to watch for, you don't want to arch your back. You want your back to be fairly straight, so you may, you may notice that you may not have to, you may not go as far as sometimes you do, because if you bring your, roll your shoulders back, you can go quite a bit further up, but you're arching your back. So pay attention that your back is not arching and it's more neutral, but your shoulders are rotating slightly out. So your shoulders are bringing slightly together and they are down. Lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Keep that back straight. And gaze towards your big toe. And return to that ocean breath that will help you get deeper into the skulls. Remember, the shoulders are slightly rotated out towards each other, but not too much to create the arch in the lower back. And on the next inhale, come up to the standing position. Keep your hands where they are and shift your legs to the left side. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forward. Keep your shoulders rotated slightly out. Keep your chest open. And on the inhale, lengthen your spine. And with each exhale, try to rest your stomach closer to your thigh. On the next inhale, come up to the standing position and release your hands. Step your foot to the front of the mat and place your feet together. Bring the weight to your left foot and ground your left foot. We're going to do some balancing poses. Engage your abdominal muscles and then engage your kneecap. And walk your right foot up into a tree pose. We're going to hold the tree pose for quite a little bit longer than usual. So find a comfortable position you can hold. Once you find your balance, place your hands in a prayer position. And when you're ready, extend your hands to the side into a letter T. Your palms are facing down. Turn your right palm up. Turn your left palm up and hold it here. Turn 
your right palm down. Turn your left palm down. Turn both of your palms up. And bring your hands up over your head into a prayer position. Relax your trapezius muscles. So don't set the muscles very close to your neck. And bring the prayer position down and release the pose. We're going to switch legs. Ground your right foot down. Engage your abdominal muscles. Lift your knee up and bring your left leg up. Once you found your balance, bring your hands in a prayer position. And extend your hands to the side. Bring your left palm up. Bring your right palm up. Bring your left palm down. Bring your right palm down. Bring both of your palms up and bring them above your head in a prayer position. Relax your trapezius muscles and bring the prayer position down and release the pose. Shift the weight back to your left foot, engage your abdominal muscles and bring your right foot up to the tree pose. Once you found your balance, place your hands in a prayer position. And again, bring your hands into a tree position. And this time we're going to move our hands up and down and as if we're a bird, but very slowly. Inhale, bring your hands up. And exhale, bring them slightly down. It's not a big movement. Just notice how your scapula is moving in this position. Exhale, lower your hands down and inhale, bring them up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, lower them down. Come back to the neutral position. Turn, turn your palms up and bring them over your head prayer position and slowly lower your hands down in the prayer position to your chest and release the pose. We're going to switch legs. Shift your weight to your right foot and bring your left foot up to a three pose. Bring your hands in the prayer position and extend them to the side. Inhale, bring your hands slightly up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, your hands slightly up. Exhale, lower them slightly down. Inhale, your hands up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, bring them slightly up. Exhale, bring them slowly down. Come back to the neutral position and turn your palms up. And when you're ready, bring them up above your head into a prayer position. And bring your hands to your chest and release the pose. We're going to take a vinyasa here. Inhale your hands up. Over your head, prayer position, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Observe. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. And here we're going to be switching between downward dog to high plank. So in downward dog, our shoulders are rotated out. And when we're moving to the high plank, our shoulders are rotating slightly in. So exhale, come to the downward dog, rotating your shoulders out. Inhale, come up to the high plank, rotating your shoulders in. Exhale, downward dog. 
Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. One more time. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Lower your knees to the mat and bring your hands a little bit closer. So you want your shoulders right above your wrists and your hips stacking over your knees. And we're going to lower our forearms to the mat. And we, we want to do it like, so both of our arms are moving at the same speed at the same time. Exhale, lower your elbows down and push with your elbows. The rest of your body is completely frozen. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down on your elbows if you want. You can even tap your, for, tap your hands because they're just here for support. They're not doing any work. And inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down to your elbows. Push with those elbows. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down to your forearms. Inhale, come up. Try to keep your hips frozen so your hips are not moving. We're just moving with our shoulders and our forearms. Okay, let's do it two more times. Exhale, lower down to your forearms. Very good, Colleen. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower down to your forearms. Very good, James, Adriana, beautiful. Exhale, lower down to your forearms. And inhale, come up. And push yourself to high plank. We're going to do some more movement of the, of the shoulders here. So it's going to get a little bit more intense. So imagine the rest of your body is completely frozen. We're just moving our shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And bring them apart. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And inhale, create as much space between your shoulder blades. Inhale, sorry, exhale, shoulder blades together. Inhale, create as much space as possible. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, create as much space as possible. The rest of your body is completely frozen. Just imagine you don't have anything else, just your shoulders to get you moving. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades. Beautiful, James. Exhale, create as much space as possible. Very good, Adriana. Colleen, very nice. And let's do it one more time. Inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. And exhale, create as much space in your shoulder blades as possible. Find your neutral position. And this time we're going to shrug and unshrug our shoulders. Remember, nothing else is moving, just your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders. Unshrug your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders. And shrug your shoulders. Shrug your shoulders. And unshrug. Shrug them. Unshrug them. Shrug them. And unshrug. Very good. This time, Lower down to your forearms, then come up to the, to the plank position. Again, everything is frozen other than our shoulders. So we're going to protract and retract our shoulders. So we're going to 
Squeeze in our, and squeeze the, our shoulder blades together. So inhale, shrug, sorry, bring our shoulder blades together. Exhale, create as much space between your shoulder blades as is possible. And you're pushing with your elbows, you're pushing with your forearms, your hands are there just for support. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Create as much space between your shoulder blades as possible. And keep going. This, this exercise is really going to help you out with all of the arm balancing poses, and especially with the poses when we're pushing with our forearms. Okay, everybody looks really good. One more time. Squeeze your shoulder blades together and bring them as far apart as it's possible. Come back to the neutral position and shift your weight towards your left hand. And when you're ready, turn your left foot out and bring your right foot on top of it. Send your hips up and extend your right hand up into a side plank low side plank here. And look towards your right hand. Bring your hand back on the mat. And we're going to switch sides. Shift your weight towards your right hand and stack your feet on top of each other. Bring the weight to your shoulder and inhale, bring your left hand over your head and look towards your thumb. Bring your hand back on the mat. And we're going to do it one more time on each side. Shift your weight towards your left side. Very good. And come back down. Colleen, we're on our forearms. Very good. And come down. And release. Come up to the downward dog and walk your feet to the front of the mat. Inhale your hands up, prayer position, yoga. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, lower down into half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Walk your hands back until you're in the right dog position. You're folding forward. When you're ready, slowly walk your hands forward into high plank. Notice what your shoulders are doing. Rotate your shoulders in when you're in high plank. And come up to Chaturanga. Come up to high plank and walk your hands back into forward fold. Walk your hands back in front of you. High plank, lower down to Chaturanga. Come up to high plank. And walk your hands back into a forward fold. Walk your hands very slowly forward. High plank, Chaturanga. Come up to high plank. Walk your hands back into forward fold. And one more time, walk your hands forward into high plank. Lower down into half plank. Come up to high plank. Walk your hands back into forward fold. Okay, and the last time, walk your hands forward and stay in high plank. Make sure your shoulders are rotating in and very slowly 
making sure the whole body is coming at the same time, come down all the way to the mat. Bring your hands next to your hips. Rotate your chest, rotate your shoulders out and bring them down. So you want to unstrap them. And on the inhale, lift your hands up and lift your legs up. And breathe here. Remember that ocean breath that we practiced. On each inhale, try to lift your chest up a little bit more. Try to lift your legs a little bit higher. And release. Okay, we're going to do it two more times. Rotate your shoulders out. Your shoulder blades are squeezing together. And bring your shoulder blades down. So you're unshrugging your shoulders. Lift your hands up, lift your legs up, and breathe here. Very good, Adriana. Very nice, James. Colleen, beautiful job. And release. And one more time. Rotate your shoulders back. And bring them down. Lift your hands up. Lift your hands up, lift your hand, legs up, and breathe here. And release. Make a little pillow under your head and just take a moment here. When you're ready, place your hands next to your shoulders, engage your abdominal muscles, Push yourself up into high plank. Exhale, half plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Look between your hands, bend your knees and step to the front of the mat. Flat back, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, your hands up, over your head, look up. And release, mountain pose. Inhale, your hands up, prayer position, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, lower down. Into plank and stay in plank here. And here we're going to go from plank to dolphin. If you want, you can bend your, you, you can put your knees down and do it this way. As long as you can move both of your elbows at the same time, you can stay in high plank. If that's not happening, lower your knees down. And remember, we're pushing with our forearms. We want to do it. Two more times. Bring your hands up. and lower down to your forearms. And this time you lift your hips up and extend into a dolphin plank. And we're going to hold this pose here. Make sure your abdominal muscles are straight. Adriana, push your hips a little bit lower. Very good. Good job, Colleen, beautiful James. Remember that your forearms are pushing, your elbows are pushing strongly towards the mat. And release, come, come to the child pose for a moment. And come back to your forearms and the same, push your hips up as if you were in downward dog on your forearms. Remember, you're pushing with your elbows. It's going to be a little bit harder in this pose. But we want to stabilize those shoulders 
and making sure that we are putting enough pressure with your elbows. Very nice and stable, James, beautiful job. And breathe here, remember to return to that ocean breath as we are holding this pose. When you're ready, you can start pushing your weight a little bit forward and back. So you're coming a little bit higher on your toes and back. Inhale, lean forward and exhale, lean back. Your gaze is between your hands. So you may, you may feel your hips stacking over your shoulders. It might be happening, it may not be happening. It depends where you are. Yes, yeah, keep, mo keep moving your, shifting your weight towards your hands. So moving forward and back. And release, come back to the child pose here. And we're going to lift up again on our forearms into a downward dog on our forearms. And if you want, you can keep continuing shifting your weight back and forth. Or if you want, you can start lifting one leg at the time up. And your other foot is shifting to, the, to your toes. When you're lifting your leg, you can bring the knee towards, sorry, you can bring your heel towards your bum or you can keep your leg extended. Whatever feels comfortable today. Very good, Colleen. Beautiful job. Very good, James and Adriana. Remember to keep pushing with your elbows strongly on the mat. We want to really stabilize those shoulders and make them stronger. You may notice that your elbows are going to the sides. I know mine do. So one of the tricks I do, I often put the, the block between my elbows. So that motivates me to squeeze my shoulder, squeeze my elbows together. Very good. And release. Come back to the child pose for a moment. And come up to downward dog, the same. The regular downward dog. Step your left foot in between your leg and your, and your hand and place it on the mat. Lift your Right leg up and stack your knees on top of each other. And when you're ready, take, lift your right hand up and place it on your back and take your left hand and bring it underneath so your hands can meet. If they cannot meet, then grab your shirt or if you have a strap hand, you can hold your strap. And maybe you will notice that today you can go quite a bit deeper in this pose. You might be able to hold your hands a little bit further out because we did quite a lot of exercise stimulating our shoulders and warming them up and strengthening the muscles of the scapula. Great job.
and release and we're going to switch sides. Release your hands, push yourself into downward dog. And this time take your right foot and place it on the mat. And take your left foot and stack your knees on top of each other. Inhale your left hand up and put it on your back and take your right hand and bring it underneath so your hands can meet or, as, or come as close as they can today. Just breathe here. And release the pose. You can shake your hands if you have to. And release your legs. Push yourself into downward dog. Cross your legs and come to... Cross your legs and extend your legs in front of you. Lower yourself all the way down. And walk your, he walk your heels towards your bum. Keep your feet parallel to each other. And when you're ready, grab your ankles with your hands. Rotate your shoulders out a little bit. And when you're ready, lift your hips up into a bridge pose. For step two, you can place your hands underneath your shoulders. For step three, you can roll on your head and step Four, you can come all the way up into a wheel pose. Very nice, Colleen, beautiful. Beautiful, Adriana and James, great job. And hold it for two, one, and very slowly tuck your chin and come back down to the mat. We're going to do it two more times. When you're ready, grab your ankles with your hands. Rotate your shoulders out. Inhale, lift your hips up. For step two, place your hands underneath your shoulders. For step three, lift up on your head. And for step four, lift up all the way to the wheel pose. And breathe here for five, four, three, two, one, and very slowly come back down. And one more time. Place your hands, grabbing your ankles, rotate your shoulders out. And inhale, lift your hips up as high as they will go. For step two, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Step three, lift up on your head. Step four, push all the way to the wheel pose. And breathe here for five, four, three, two, one, and release. When you're ready, hug your knees to your chest and start rolling back and forth until you come to the seated position. Place your legs in the opposite corners of the mat and slowly walk your hands up into a for slopey forward fold and turn your palms up. up to the seated position and very slowly lower your back all the way 
to the mat. So you're lying completely on the mat. Make sure you have enough space behind you because we're going to go into shoulder stand and plow. Bring your legs together and bring your hands closer to your bum. If you want, you can even put them slightly underneath. When you're ready, bring your legs up. Keep your hips on the mat if you want. You can stay here or if you want, lift your hips up into a shoulder stand and support your back with your hands. Beautiful, Colleen. You want to bring your elbows as close together as you can. Very nice job, Colleen. Adriana, beautiful. James, very nice. Keep your toes pointed. James, bring your legs together. Very nice. Just breathe here. And when you're ready, very slowly bring your legs behind your head. And if they touch the mat, you can release your hands on the mat, interlace your fingers and clasp your palms together. Colleen, can you, can you bring your palms together? Very nice, beautiful job. Adriana, very nice, James, beautiful job. Just breathe here for a moment. When you're ready, turn your palms back on the mat, palms down and very slowly come back all the way down to the mat, vertebrae at the time. And for the counter pose, we are going to do a fish pose. So extend your legs in front of you and bring them together. Take your hands and place them underneath your bum. So they are palms down underneath your bum. And your elbows are as close as they will physically come. If you want, you can keep your head on the mat like this and, and then lift up on your elbows. Or if you want a little bit, better counter pose. You can roll your shoulders back and support it on the crown. Place your, the crown of your head on the mat. You're pushing with your elbows here into a fish pose. Colleen, push a little bit more on your elbows. Beautiful job, Colleen. Fantastic. This looks beautiful. Okay, and slowly release. Bring your knees to your chest and roll forward and back until you come to the seated position. Cross your legs and push yourself to downward dog. Sit on your heels and grab your opposite elbows and plant them very close to your knees. Interlace your fingers by creating a little basket and place it firmly on the mat. We're going to do the headstand. So here you want to push with your elbows, just exactly what we were practicing today. And keeping those elbows stable, place your hand in the basket and lift your hips up. And you can stay here, or if you want, you can walk your feet up and back. For the next step, you can lift one leg at a time up. Or if you want, you can lift both legs at the same time. And if they're up, tilt your pelvis and you can extend your legs up and point your toes. Great job, Colleen. Point your toes, fantastic. Okay, and when you're ready, 
come down and come to the child pose. Spread your knees to the opposite corners of the mat and walk your hands in front of you and turn your palms up. When you're ready, push yourself up into downward dog, cross your legs and come to the seated position. Place your feet in the opposite corners of the mat and slowly come all the way down, lying on your back, on your, on your mat, place your palms up and close your eyes. This is our final relaxation for today. We've been working really hard on our shoulders, so make sure that you relax those shoulders, relax your abdominal muscles, relax your legs, relax your neck. Slowly start wiggling your toes, your fingers. And if you want, you can start rotating your wrists and your ankles. Hug your knees to your chest. And when you're ready, roll to your right side. Keep your eyes closed and push yourself to the seated position. And place your hands on your knees. We're going to finish our practice with a balanced breath. It's a 4 4 breath using our nose. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Place your right hand on your chest and your left hand on your abdomen. May this practice heal and strengthen my body and my mind. May this practice heal and strengthen my body and my mind. Release your hands and open your eyes. Thank you very much for joining me today. I know it was quite a lot of work on our shoulders and hopefully you feel it because that's the whole purpose. And I also hope you learned something new that maybe you didn't know or maybe you were not aware of. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank my you. Very nice class.